Both eras, the Industrial Revolution and the Renaissance, have had a colossal impact on our lives and the everyday items and gadgets that we use. But which revolutionized their time the most? And what were the differences between the two? To do this, we have to compare both times before the Industrial Revolution and the Renaissance to see just how much changed during this time. So, let the duel begin. After the fall of the Holy Roman Empire in approximately 476 CE, people lived in a society mostly ruled by the Catholic Church. Almost everyone living at the time in medieval Europe was under the power of feudalism and feudal aristocracy. The arts were primarily reserved for monks, and art in the medieval time, like most things, was centered around religion and the faith. Disease, poverty, and lack of employment were just some of the things that made life harder for ordinary people. And then, here came the Renaissance, coming from the French word meaning rebirth. The Renaissance was truly the resurrection of old Greco-Roman ideals, processed through new ways of innovating science, art, and music. In this era of European civilization, the feudal system declined in use, and this sparked the need for trade and commerce between different nations. This generation of new thinkers and inventions continued from its birth in the 14th century to the end of the 17th century. The Industrial Revolution, on the other hand, started around the year 1760 and ended around the time between 1820 and 1840. During this period, both technological and scientific advances were made, including the invention of new machinery, important new developments in both transportation and communication, and the use of new energy sources, among others. But what was it like before the Industrial Revolution? Living and working conditions before the Industrial Revolution were abysmal. Factories at the time were in terrible conditions, but since people were in dire need for money to support themselves and their families, they could work for 16 hours a day for six days a week and be content with a pay of $10. Women and children who worked received less and children had physical deformities due to the lack of sunlight and exercise. With factories searching for people to work, urbanization was at its peak. People moved more and more into the cities and towns became overcrowded slums. Disease could be transmitted quicker and the lack of medical care resulted with a lot of people dying. But if it wasn't for the Industrial Revolution, the middle class would have never emerged, thus alleviating the problems of overpopulated cities. Thanks to the Industrial Revolution, canals and roads and ways of transport and communication were improved. New machines and inventions that made work easier, such as the cotton gin or the steam-powered engine, and new sources of energy, such as coal substituted the much more used wood. More ideas that came about as a result of the Industrial Revolution were the railways, the spinning jenny, the sea drill, the telegraph, and the first telephone which was created by Alexander Graham Bell. The question at hand is hard to answer, so let's take a look at it closely, step by step. Though both the Renaissance and the Industrial Revolution took place in very different time periods, the conditions and events that took place are very similar. They both started off in Europe and slowly expanded to other parts of the world. Both of them drastically changed the time after the eras in question, and I can say without a doubt that the modern world has been defined by these two important times in history. Except for maybe wars and conflicts and other revolutions. But you know what I mean. But if we take a look at cause and effect and take away the Renaissance, we can see that if the Renaissance never occurred, it would have had an extensive impact. If we take away the Renaissance, then all other events inspired because of it would also have never existed. Therefore, the Reformation never occurred, the New World would have never been discovered, and other uncharted events. Since history is like a tangled web, taking out one element might create any unforeseen changes to the present. Another great impact due to this would have been the emergence of humanism never happening. Let's try to do the same with the Industrial Revolution. If the Industrial Revolution never occurred, it would have had a much more immediate impact on our 21st century. If that never happened, factories and machinery wouldn't have ever made their way into civilization. If that happened, 
people would still live in rural areas, living a life based on agriculture and farming. Trade would have been stuck to local products, due to the faster speed of transporting information or materials being either by horseback or boat. This would severely impact us today. No computers or televisions, or IKEA, or phones, or modern medicine. We would still be haunted by things like smallpox and plagues. Ordering things and importing or exporting things like fruits, foods, and material products would be something out of a future that would never come. Goodbye, Amazon. Fundamental things from armies like tanks, guns, and missiles would be replaced by bows and arrows and more primitive objects of mass destruction. The world would indeed be a very different place. So by comparing these impacts on today's world, I think it is safe to say that although both eras were very important in creating the world we live in today, and although the impact of a world without a renaissance would have been all the more crushing, the Industrial Revolution has had a greater impact on our present world by creating ideas that would lead humanity into a future that they could be at the helm of creating. I'm Luca, and that is the Industrial Revolution versus the Renaissance.